I'm gonna show you how to install and deploy uh, Umbraco CMS application into your um, into your Azure portal and integrate it with your uh, Azure DevOps repository. Um, you can create a new resource. You can find here the Umbraco application. By default, it will install everything you need, even with your Git repository. Uh, but I will show you how to change for your how to change that repository repository if you want. Uh, so first, it will be the first the initial configuration. Let's try. Um, Uh, I want to use the, a new resource group. Uh, here I need to confirm the SQL database. I'm gonna create a new database. I'm going to use a new server. like to select the free version um, you don't need a uh, more than that of course you can use your ser your SQL server that you are using you can select it here or you can use a, of course a better uh, storage but using the free version it will work That's everything you need. Uh, now you need just to wait for the installation, the configuration of the resource group, the uh, app service, and the connection with the database. I am creating a new SQL server, so it will take some time. Uh, yeah, let's wait for the progress. So continuing with the deployment, I got an error uh, to a uh, uh, log I am not taking into account, but my instance is ready. Here also it is using a resource group uh, here. Uh, I'm gonna show you the default configuration for your new instance. Uh, it is running. Uh, I'm gonna show you the default uh, in, uh, installation for the Umbraco, but I will not install the application. Uh, just to show you how to integrate your repository uh, by default you will see here into the deployment center uh, an external repository Umbraco Azure Gallery oh. uh, it will um, it will use a default Umbraco release uh, just to uh, make easier for Azure um, uh, to compile and to run all that you need. Um, so for 
specific versions I don't know if maybe you want to uh, debug something you can uh, of course clone this repository and make the change locally uh, but uh, as it is you can play this um, code and you will see your here yeah you will see the basic Umbraco installation uh, but right now I'm gonna disconnect the default uh, repository because I want to use mine uh, a repository uh, created in Azure DevOps so I can use the builds the pipeline pipelines and yeah the entire flow it is done so I need first to create a new project let's use the same name gonna initialize the repository uh, it is the flow that I prefer of course you can use your flow that you are using uh, here files yep. so I have here the readme and the master branch gonna clone my new repository generate some credentials one more time another credential but it is done um, so I'm gonna download the default repository of course you can use uh, checkout or merge from remote branch uh, yeah the flow that you prefer I'm gonna um, manually um, move the files and folders uh, yeah, the result will be the same I'm gonna add my new files
it is done. I'm gonna check my new files here. Yep, with the latest commit. So it is ready to be uh, linked uh, with the deployment center. I will pick uh, sure repos. Uh, let's try the Azure pipelines. You can use, of course, the service kudu. Uh, but yeah, I would like to include everything from um, Azure DevOps that is included here into the Azure pipelines option. So I need to select the repository, the project, and the branch. It is validating. Yep. Is the summary of your process. I'm gonna finish it. And it is setting that integration of the deployment uh, to my Umbraco test now instance. It will take some minutes. There you go. Immediately you will see here the build and um, the latest build. I'm gonna sign everything. And yeah, it is pointing to the to my repository in Azure DevOps. Uh, it is uh, successfully signed. Um, so let's try with uh, change here. I don't know, just a test to show you uh, the latest build. Of course, you will uh, break the HTML, but yeah, it is just a test. There you go. It's refreshed. If you will, if you don't see the latest build, I'll try one more time or try to sign the project. There you go. A new build here. Of course, you can see the latest commit here too. Hello, wo hello, build message. And that's it. Um, I will stop and one more time restart the um, the instance so you can see the latest changes and of course uh, using the your repository and here you just uh, separate all the um, default um, repository with the default installation now you are using your own code um, it is done, let's see Yeah, looks like it is loading the Umbraco installation flow. Uh, I'm getting some errors. It is related with the 
uh, pipeline configuration but it is actually building my code um, so yeah you can integrate your pipelines uh, your task your art artifacts so it is nice and very easy to do it and there you go you are ready to play with Umbraku with Azure and with Azure DevOps so enjoy thank you so much bye